Yes, my fellow Mario Maniacs. Licky here, and it's the end of the exploration tour. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm not doing too bad so far. I mean, I'm up to this kind of score, but actually I must make a little uh, admission. I got this high score before part two had even started. So that might be a little tip for some of you out there. Uh, actually, it's easy, especially if you think or you know, you've got a good feeling that you're gonna go up a tier, uh, you can find it's easier to actually get a higher score before you go up a tier, before part two starts, uh, because your opponents will get harder, probably, all right? So try and do that, that it worked for me, uh, I've got to say. Plus also I had good old Daisy, Choo choo, yeah, there she is, Daisy choo chewing it up. Um, right, also I've got one little complaint to make about the multiplayer challenges. I've made it to S level one, S plus one, and uh, where are the challenges? What is going on? Um, actually, I only use multiplayer these days at the beginning of a new tour to unlock uh, stars and therefore tour gifts. Um, that would normally take longer for you to get because uh, those cups haven't opened yet. You know, they're saying it's not ready. It is ready. It's hidden in the multiplayer. So that's a good tip for you guys if you want to try and get those level up tickets a little bit faster than usual. Uh, that's the only reason I'm using multiplayer challenges these days. Um, come on, Nintendo, sort it out. Where's the new multiplayer challenges, you know? It's quite boring without a challenge. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we'll come back to that later. <laughs> Uh, also, another strange tip that I found, something I came across, uh, on the Dino Dino Jungle Cup, on the Dino Dino Jungle track, uh, if you're being chased by a red shell or a blue spiny shell, if you can bounce off the dinosaur's head uh, just in time, then you'll get away from the red shell or even a blue spiny shell. I know this tour's nearly finished, but these tips may be useful for you in future tours or even in other future courses if you're trying to beat those all important high scores. Yes, evil laugh, ha 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 ha. But I'm sure we can all agree on one thing and that is that we all can't wait for this exploration tour to finish indeed. Right, uh, one more strange tip, it's raining there. I've got had a little interesting cart here what are your predictions for the next uh, tour? I know it's the Wild West tour. Uh, I know there's going to be a big thieving rabbit, apparently. Uh, personally, I think that Wario and Larry may be quite important because they're usually quite good on those, um, you know, the, uh, the train track ones. So let me know your predictions. Let's see what you're saying. Also got a big shout out to Curtis Klotz. Big up Curtis Klotz, he sent me in this wonderful picture. This is his prediction for the next tour. <laughs> well, wait, I, I wish it was. I would love to see the toilet, toilet, go-kart. So going out to the crew out there, if you want to see the toilet, toilet, go-kart with the Skidmark Plus, uh, you know, speciality, uh, let us know in the comments, all right? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with these videos. They're bi-weekly videos, or if you want to get a mention like uh, Curtis Klotz did, uh, let us know, man. Send us your thoughts, Licky Cats, on Facebook, all right? And also, of course, YouTube, Super Happy Fun Toys 123. Take care, everybody. Big shout out to the MKTF crew, the Mario Kart Tour friends team over there on Facebook, too. Catch you later, yeah? Good luck in the next tour. Uh, let's see what happens in the Wild West tour. See ya.